Hey guys, what's up? My name is Erica Andrea. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to be doing my iPhone 12 aesthetic wallpaper tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how I set up all of my widgets and basically just apply all of the new things that you can do with the iOS 14 update to my iPhone 12 wallpaper. I got a bunch of requests to do this video so I'm super excited to show you guys how I set up my phone. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys through the steps on how to do everything. I know it's Christmas time and a lot of people are getting new phones so that makes this the perfect time to organize and set up your phone screen so that it's as cute as possible. You feel me? So okay, let's get right on into this video. Okay, so first things first, you want to go ahead and open up Pinterest because this is my favorite place to find a wallpaper. I get a bunch of questions from people People asking where I get my wallpapers from they're usually from Pinterest so what you're gonna do is go ahead and open up Pinterest and type in whatever you're trying to find whether it's a pink aesthetic wallpaper a nude aesthetic wallpaper whatever it is you can even just type in iPhone wallpapers and a bunch of stuff will come up I'm not really feeling this pink vibe though so I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and switch it to a nude aesthetic so let's see what I can find Okay, so I'm going to type in nude aesthetic wallpaper. Okay, we have this one that looks really nice. It looks kind of like coffee. That's cute. So we're going to save that. Let's see what else we have in here. Let's see. Got the palm tree. That one's not really savable. So I'm going to go ahead. Ooh, I like this cloud one a lot. That's really cute. I like that um what else what else let me see oh I like this one this is really really pretty so I'm gonna save that and we will choose between one of these and decide which one is the best one alrighty so these are the wallpapers that we have to choose from I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with this like white this white one that looks like sheets or satin or whatever it is I'm gonna go with this one and we're gonna work off with this one for the base so you're gonna go to the app store and you're gonna type in widget Smith and it's gonna be one of the first apps to pop up there it is it has like that blue square I'm gonna go ahead and download that and when you open it, you're gonna see something that says add small widget. So the first widget we're gonna do is add small number one. We're gonna tap, you're gonna tap again, and you have all these options that pop up. So once you tap it, you have all of these options that pop up. You can select a time, you could do like the date, you can do the day of the week, you could insert a photo, you could put the battery icon. So many different options here. Some of them you have to pay for, but I'm gonna start off with, hmm. I'm gonna start off with the day and the date, I believe. So let's go ahead and click that and we can customize what colors we want. If you scroll, there's some more. I think I'm gonna use the sunrise aesthetic and then I'll change it to match whatever I got going on. So I'm gonna change the color to cream because that matches that kind of background that we added. And I'm gonna make the border hmm, white. Let's go with white. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change the tint color to black just so that the font will be the black color. And then you can also add artwork, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna save and press save again. And we'll go ahead and exit the app so I can show you guys how to pull this up on the main screen. Okay, so now that you're on the main screen, all you're gonna do is hold down on the screen and everything is gonna start to shake just like that and you're gonna press that plus sign in the top left corner I'm gonna go ahead and press that and you'll scroll down and you'll see widget smith there you're gonna go ahead and tap that and you're gonna press add widget we made a small widget so we're gonna go ahead and press that as you guys can see I have the day of the week and the date on my main screen and it looks really really good so now we're gonna go ahead and make our second widget you're going to pull up the Widget Smith app the same exact way and you're going to press add small widget again because I think I want to add one more small widget on this front page. So, Okay, so you see small widget number two pop up. So let's see, do I want to add a photo? Let's add a photo. 
So you're gonna select that button that says photo. You're gonna just click that and then you're gonna go down to selected photo, press choose photo, and you could pick any photo from your albums, whatever you want. I have a bunch of pictures in my phone, so we have a lot to choose from. <laughs> um, let's go with this one. You can adjust the alignment so that everything that you want to be in the screen is on the screen. Go ahead and save this. And now you can go ahead and close out of this and save the widget to the phone. Okay, so now we're gonna add this to the screen the same exact way. Um, you're gonna go ahead and go down to Widget Smith. We're still adding a small widget, so just go ahead and tap the app and it'll pop up. And you can scroll back over to small, press add widget, and you're gonna see it pop up on the screen automatically the first one. But you're gonna go ahead and select small number two, and it should switch. There we have it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and move this down and put it, hmm, right there looks good. Yeah, that's okay for now. Okay, so I'm not really feeling how the wallpaper is looking, so I, I'm actually gonna change the coloring of the wallpaper just a little bit. So let me go ahead and open this in my photos. We'll adjust the exposure a little bit. I just want it a little bit brighter. It's just a little bit too dull. So let's increase, we'll mess around with some of these settings and see what I can come up with. Yes, much better. It's so much brighter and prettier. Alrighty, so now we're gonna move on to doing our second page. I know for sure I want a bigger widget on this second page. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a medium size widget. So we're gonna open the app. We're gonna go to medium number one. This is the default one that pops up. It's just like a calendar. I do want a calendar on my screen, but I think I want the one with the numbers. So I'm gonna go with the day and the date. No, actually I'm gonna do the month and the date because day and the date is what I have on the very first screen. So let's check the aesthetics now. Let's see which one will be the best one to go with the theme. It's looking like powder is probably the best one. So let's select that. And I'm just going to set the coloring to match the previous widgets that I've made the same exact way. Alrighty, so now we have our calendar. That looks really, really nice at the top of the screen. So now I'm going to go ahead and add another small widget. This time I think I want to do the battery. The battery life square. That's what I think I'm going to add. Just have to find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap that. Tap the battery icon, select powder as our aesthetic, and then we're just gonna change the colors. Let's see, I think I wanna do green, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with green. So we'll do green for the color of the battery, and then we'll do Yeah, so we'll do green for the color of the battery and then we'll keep the white border. Oh, my butt is stuck to this chair. Ugh. Actually, I think I'm going to go back in and change the font of the calendar. I think I'm gonna change it to black. Okay, so we're gonna check, see what aesthetic we wanna use. I'm gonna go with powder again. I think I'm gonna do green as the color for the battery life. And we'll save this, apply the changes, same old, same old. Just gonna save it and open it on the screen. 
the battery one. This time it wasn't coming up in the suggestion, so I just scrolled all the way to the bottom and I was able to find it there. Changing it to small number three, because that's the battery. And there we have it. So let's decide where I want to place this. I know I want it to be below, but I think I want it to be closer to the calendar. That's a little bit better. With the weather on the same page. I don't know how I'm feeling with the weather on the same page. Okay, so we're gonna do the same exact thing. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna add another small widget. I wanna add like a really pretty picture of flowers that I have saved in my phone. You could use whatever you wanna use. You can go on Pinterest and go ahead and search up roses or whatever it is and insert that. I have it set up already to kind of speed up this process, but the picture is already uploaded. But just to show y'all how you would add it. And then we're gonna save this and we're gonna add this to the screen. And I'm gonna switch this out with that weather one because I don't really like how the weather one looks on this page. So we'll go ahead and switch that. Go to add widget, select it and change it to small number four. And you can go ahead and move it to wherever you want. I'm gonna put it down here at the bottom. Ooh, it's starting to come together, you guys. Looks really nice, but that last page, baby, the last page needs some work. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of these apps from the home screen because we don't need them. And a lot of people don't know that you can remove an app from your home screen and not from your phone. So you're going to hold down on the app and you're going to press remove app. And then it's going to ask you if you want to remove it from the Apple store or from the home screen. And you're just going to select home screen and it'll stay in your app library. You'll be able to find the app on the phone as long as you search for it, but it won't be on your home page. So I'm going to do that for iMovie as well because I don't need that. I don't use that app on my phone and all of the miscellaneous apps that I have here that I just never use. Okay, now I have successfully cleared out all the apps I don't need. This is what the third page is looking like. Now, I think I wanna go in and add some quotes, so let me show you guys how I can do that. You're gonna open the Widget Smith app, you're gonna scroll down to large, because I want this quote to be quite big, and I'm gonna go down, all the way down to custom text. You're gonna press that, and then you're gonna pick your aesthetic, what colors you want, all of that good stuff. I want it to look just like the other, so I'm just gonna make it a white text, and I think I'm gonna make the background cream. Oh, but, but first I'm gonna type in the quote. I'm gonna put, I focus on what I control and make peace with what I cannot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type that in. Okay, so that came out really good. And now that it's cream, I like how it looks much better. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And we're gonna add it to the screen the same exact way. It's so simple, you guys, but it is very tedious, okay? So we're gonna go back. I think I want this quote on the first page, and then I'll do a different one for the last page. So let's go ahead and add this. Scroll all the way to the bottom. If it's not showing up, press Add Widget. This one is medium number four. Oh, I said large before. This is a medium size widget. I do want another quote, but let's see. Cause you can manually type in the quote and have it on the screen that way. But what you can also do is find a really pretty photo of a quote and from Pinterest or from wherever you find it from and do that as well. The same way that we did for the picture of me and for the picture of the roses. I found one, I'm gonna go ahead and save that to my phone. I like good things are coming. This one is really cute. So we're gonna go ahead Open up Widget Smith again. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to medium because I'm gonna do it medium size. I don't want it too big. So let's go ahead to photo. Now we're gonna go ahead and upload it. We'll check the alignment. Looks good to me. Now we can go ahead and save it and add it to this last page because this last page is so bland. So same old thing. Add widget to the screen. You'll select the widget you're looking for. We're looking for number five. And there we have it. Ooh, it looks so good. And that is it, you guys. That is literally everything that I do to set up my phone. I did end up changing the wallpaper, so I'm gonna show you guys what the final product looks like right now. I just changed the wallpaper to the sky. So this is what the first page looks like. I did change the photo as well, but all the basic things I did were exactly the same. So the second page looks like, I changed it from green to black because I thought it looked a little bit more crisp this way. 
and then this is what the last page looks like everything on the screen came together so so well like everything looks so beautiful and crisp and i'm so happy with how it turned out it took me a little while to come up with this theme i know some people do like change the colors of their actual apps to fit their aesthetic but for me i feel like that's a little bit too much i just want it to be a little bit more simple and to actually see what app is what and not have everything like blend into the background if you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up i had so much fun recording this and like playing around with the creativity just to show you guys how to do it i feel like a lot of people don't know how to use widgets and that's why they don't even try but i hope that this was helpful download the widget smith app that's really all you need to achieve this let me know what videos you guys want to see next from me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications that you never miss an upload and i will see all of you beautiful people in my next one bye